He's coming back round. He's coming back round! <laughs> Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk is an instant classic of World War II. It's set in the late spring of 1940. Uh, British and French troops are pinned in by the Germans. Their only route of escape is through the English Channel. And Great Britain actually sent out a call for civilian boats, barges, fishing vessels, you name it, to go right into war and attempt to rescue these men. It was an amazing chapter, heroic chapter, in the history of Great Britain and France and World War II. All went out. We have to go to Dunkirk. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You don't know where we're going. Into war, George. I'll be useful, sir. One of ours. Nolan does some of his signature time skipping here as he moves back and forth on the timeline over the course of a week or two. And he tells the story from different perspectives, which makes it so much more effective. Mark Rylance, who won the Academy Award Best Supporting Actor for Bridges Spies, gives a performance at least equal to that here. He plays one of those civilian boat captains who risks his life on a small vessel in an attempt to save dozens of British soldiers. Tom Hardy is a Royal Air Force pilot. Kenneth Branagh, super strong, playing a, a commander who stays with his troops, even knowing that many of them could be seeing their last days on Earth. This is a powerful film, a haunting film. It's beautifully, beautifully shot. The images are indelible. The editing is first rate. Kind of interesting too, because Christopher Nolan usually goes about two hours and 40 minutes or more with his films. This movie's only about an hour and 45 minutes long. It's a real TikTok type of thriller, which just really kind of increases the tension and the sense of urgency. The movie's called Dunkirk, four stars. I think it's gonna get Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, Best Sound, best editing at the very least. Check it out.